morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey guys, hello, 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 good morning everyone. My name is Casey Starlong and welcome to today's breakfast. Now, if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, I want to welcome you. So what I try to do every morning, pretty much Monday through Friday, I try to share an encouraging word from the Lord to just help jumpstart your day with the Lord. And I call it today's breakfast because we know that breakfast is supposed to be the most important meal of the day. And so how nourishing is it when we just have like just a vitamin sustaining word um, that comes out of the mouth of the Lord. So I'm really excited about sharing today's word. I mean, I'm really excited because I was pumped. I was amped when God gave me the word today. We're going to be talking about foreboding thoughts And as you can see on your screen, in parentheses, I have the word yuck because foreboding thoughts, they are just completely yucky. They come completely from the enemy. And so as believers, we don't want to have anything to do with the enemy. Um, And so we're going to be talking a little bit more about that. Um, But first, hi, Coach Angie. Thanks so much for joining us for breakfast. Um, Before we get to our message for today, I want to make sure you know really quickly about an upcoming women's conference. It is called the Women of Worth Conference. This is their 2018 conference. It's being hosted uh, by Higher Heights. Deliverance Church, Church of God in Christ. Um, They are proud supporters of us here at Inspired Overflow. So I want to let you know about this conference. It's taking place in St. Louis, June the 28th through July the 1st. I've attended this conference for like the past five years. Now, there aren't many conferences that I go to year after year. Schedules get busy, things come up, um, but I always make it it, um, my intention to go to this conference because God always moves powerfully. So I just want to make sure you know about it. Um, Registration, I believe, is like 35 bucks. It's on the flyer, the phone number where you can register and purchase your tickets. I just want to share this with you. If God leads you to attend, um, I really believe that you'll be blessed by attending. So, all right, you guys, just wanted to share that information with you. So let's get into the topic that the Lord put on my heart today. And again, you know, God gives me these words to encourage myself. And also, I believe, to just really encourage the body of Christ. And um, so if you're not familiar with the term foreboding thoughts, foreboding thoughts are thoughts that seem to come out of nowhere. And they're like doom and gloom, um, where you might wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, what about if this happens? What about if this happens? What about if this happens? And usually the thoughts are always evil. The thoughts are always negative. And sometimes you don't even have to be awakened in the middle of the night to receive these thoughts. You could just be going on about your business, but something comes into your heart and you start thinking about, well, what about if something happens to my husband? What about if he loses his job? What about if he passes away? You know, what about if something happens to my child? You know, what about um, if somebody robs us and and takes away, you know, all of our income? These are thoughts Uh, sent by the enemy to really bring you into anxiety, um, to bring you into insecurity, and to bring you into doom and gloom. And the Lord really placed on my heart um, to be really mindful of foreboding thoughts. And, um, you know, one of the things that I ask God when I'm spending time with him in prayer, I ask God, I say, Lord, give me revelation about my enemy. Give me revelation about the opposition, about the oppositional forces that are coming into my life. So remember yesterday, our topic was about leveraging our hardships. We know as believers that there are going to be issues that come up. We know that the enemy is going to to do everything that he can to get us off our post. But one of the things that we can do as part of our offensive strategy is ask God, you know, Lord, what is the enemy trying to do? I'm sensing opposition. I'm sensing stress. I'm sensing a spirit of frustration. Hey, Alicia, thanks so much for joining us. I'm sensing all of this stuff, but God, give me revelation so I know how to combat the enemy. And so the Lord began to speak to me this morning and he said, you know what? You need to be really mindful of the spirit of gluttony. 
the spirit of gluttony. So if you follow my if you follow my ministry, you know, I talk a lot about food and really being mindful of the foods that we eat, because the enemy can really use food to create stagnation and procrastination and laziness in the body of Christ. Um, so the Lord was like, Casey, I really need you to be mindful of the spirit of gluttony because it's trying to it's trying to it's trying to consume you. And um, the Lord was like, also be mindful of a spirit of anxiety that the enemy really wants to throw on you like a dark cloak. And um, the word of God talks about that. Um, I think I believe this was David. And he says, God, you set me up in the in the high places. Um, you set my feet to be like hinds feet. And when we trust God and when we obey the Lord, he sets up, he sets us up in the high places where our enemies cannot get us. But that doesn't mean that the devil just says, oh, God has them perched up on a high place. I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm not going to try to try to mess with them. No, we know the word of God tells us to be sober and vigilant. That the enemy is always trying to come in like a thief or he's trying to prowl around like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour. That's why it's so important to ask God for revelation. Okay, God, you know, what's going on? You know, so I know how to combat my enemy. So when the Lord began to speak to me about the spirit of gluttony, and so I know in this season, be really mindful about practicing self-control, uh, to be really obedient to the Lord with what he's telling me with my diet. Some foods are just off. You know, I, I just don't need to, to, to go there with some of these foods. Um, and with the spirit of anxiety, okay, so I need to make sure that I'm guarding my thoughts. And so the Lord began to just put on my heart about releasing this message also to you, um, that maybe you find yourself where out of nowhere, just these foreboding evil thoughts of uh, doom and gloom are entering into your mind. And so maybe they may not appear as evil and, you know, doom. They may not be like spooky, like Halloween, but there may be a thought like, you know, well, what about if this happens? Or there's just an, uh, um, a lie from the enemy to, to suggest something to make you fearful. You know, those are things that I believe God is saying, be mindful of. And so one of the things that the Lord began to show me, he says, when we allow those foreboding thoughts to enter into our minds, a spirit of anxiety and fear can enter into our hearts. And once anxiety and fear enters, then procrastination, stagnation, and laziness can come in. So let me give you an example. Uh, today, I am scheduled to meet with a group of believers who I believe that God has called us to come together and work on a series of projects for the St. Louis region. I believe that this is a group that has been designed by God, um, and he's brought us all together um, from different walks of life, all believers, uh, but he's brought us together to work on some specific pro projects perta pertaining to advancing the kingdom in the city of St. Louis. So with this group, we've been planning for a while about coming together to meet. Well, today's the meeting. Tonight's the meeting. I got a whole bunch of stuff going on in my life and in my mind. And for some reason, I've been dreading this meeting, not dreading the people. The people are awesome. The people are wonderful, but just dreading the meeting. And so I had to like unpack and unwind a little bit and say, God, what's up? I know, Lord, that you brought this meeting together. I know, Lord, that the people that are part of this group, they love you, God. We've, we've met in the past before, Lord, and your spirit has always been there. What's going on? What is this? And the Lord was like um, that the enemy was just really trying to send, you know, thoughts of evil into my mind and thoughts of anxiety. And when I think about what I'm thinking about, it doesn't even make sense concerning this meeting. But just to, you know, be real and be relevant with you guys to really expose the enemy, the thoughts were like, oh, you're going to have to travel a long time. You're going to be away from home. And, you know, what about this? And what about that? I mean, it was just like really crazy stuff. And so finally, I had to realize that these thoughts, these mind assaults, these foreboding evil thoughts about that this may happen and that may happen, those thoughts were not from the Lord. They were not real thoughts. These were thoughts sent by the enemy uh, to make me anxious, to make me nervous, and to make me not want to go to this meeting, which would ultimately wind up, because I'm one of the leaders, would wind up with this meeting not happening and then God's. Uh, kingdom potentially not being advanced, at least not through the way that he has intended it to be. 
And so we have to be really mindful of the ways how the enemy works. And so I began to ask God for a strategy because I really felt like my mom was being assaulted. Like, I just really felt like this heaviness. We're going to this meeting tonight, which is like 10 hours from now. And that's how the enemy works. I mean, it could be something like in the future where he just kind of slogs on your spirit and makes you feel so heavy and you don't want to do anything. So I was like, okay, God. I need a strategy. How do I pull down this spirit? Because I know it's from the enemy. I know you want me to be at this meeting. And so the Lord brought me to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, um, verses three through five. It's really popular um, scripture and you may be familiar with it, but I want to focus on verse five where it says, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God And we take it captive and make it obedient to Christ. So what this scripture is saying, the Apostle Paul is saying, every argument, every thought, every foreboding evil thought that you know is not from the Lord, the Apostle Paul is saying, hey, pull it down and make it captive um, in the obedience of Jesus Christ. So you're like, hey, what does that mean? And what what the word is saying is, okay, I know that this thought, this heaviness has come from the devil. So now I got to pull down this thought. I got to pull down all these what ifs. I have to pull down all these lies from the devil and I have to bring in the truth. And the truth for me was, wait a second, God, I know, Lord, you called us to work together. I know, Lord, this is your will. I know, God, that you've called me to be one of the leaders in the city of St. Louis to bridge um, racial gra- gaps and to, to bring forth prayer in the community. And Lord, this is your plan. Um, and so I have to do what the Apostle Paul says in uh, Philippians chapter four, uh, where he talks about, I have to just clear my mind and think of things that are true. Think of things that are right. Think of things that are noble. Think of things that are praiseworthy. Think of things that are excellent in the sight of the Lord. I had to pull down that crazy stuff and replace it with the word of God. So I want to encourage you on today that maybe your situation may not be like mine. Maybe um, you aren't feeling opposition about going to a meeting, but maybe you might be feeling opposition about starting a business or uh, moving forward in a ministry project that maybe, you know, that the enemy is lobbing all these crazy attacks is going to be too hard or it's going to be too difficult or you tried it last time and it didn't work. What about this? What about that? You know, um, It could very well be that the enemy is just desiring to cloak you with the spirit of anxiety and fear where you become immobilized, where you become immobilized. And then you have to be really understanding that when that happens, then all these other spirits come in, too, because it's like you've opened up the door to listen to the imaginations of the enemy, to listen to his lies. And then a spirit of procrastination comes in. Well, man, instead of uh, dealing with that, instead of dealing with this work that I need to tackle today. Let me go eat a bowl of food. Or instead of, you know, um, calling these people back, which is something I know I need to do, um, let me go off and do something else. Let me go spend some money. Or, or you know, what happens with people with substance abuse problems is they go, they go and do drugs. So basically what I'm saying is, is that the enemy will come in with these foreboding thoughts. He will try to bring in fear and anxiety to disrupt God's plans in your life. He will try to bring in distractions. He'll try to bring in um, everything to prevent you from doing what God has called you to do. And so it really is today is about just being mindful and to pull down those foreboding thoughts and to say, you know what? No, this is not from the Lord. And I don't receive this thought. I'm pulling it down. Now, God, I need you to remind me of your truth. Because where that lie came in from the enemy, I pull that down. I bring that captive into the obedience of Jesus Christ. And I need to fill that space, Lord, with your word, with your truth. And so that's the word of the Lord today. It's just to be mindful of those foreboding, yucky, yucky thoughts. So I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in today. I see my husband has tuned in today. God bless you, Pastor Alfred Long. I'm praying for you always as your wife and Sable. Thank you so much for joining us. And Pastor Jack, Pastor Jack, God bless you so much. For those of you that are watching, guess what? Pastor Jack is me and um, Alfred's pastor. And so we've just been so very blessed to have him and his wife um, in our lives. 
So what a tremendous, tremendous blessing. All right, you guys. Well, I just pray over you. I pray over me too. I pray for all of us um, that we will have the mind of Christ and that we will be aware of the tactics and the temptations of the enemy that sometimes we'll just stop and say, Lord, what what is it that I'm thinking about? And I pray for just the spirit of truth, the revelation of God's truth to enter into our minds, that what God has called us to do, we're going to do it and we're going to do it in a spirit of excellence and in a way of giving God glory. One other thing that I wanna say before I leave, and I think this is really important, that when I began to pray and ask God about this whole foreboding thoughts and like, okay, God, I know that it's your plan for me to go to this meeting. It's not like I felt like this sudden urge and, and excitement about going to the meeting. Hey, Kim, good to see you. It's not like I felt like, okay, I'm going to go to this meeting now. I prayed, you know, I brought these thoughts into the captivity of Jesus Christ. You know, it's not like I was like, woohoo, I'm going to go. But what I made the decision to do is I'm going no matter what, because I know that this is where God has called me to be. And um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk by faith. So sometimes it's not about a feeling, but it's just like, I know, God, this is what you want me to do. I know it's the enemy's plan to prevent me from fulfilling my purpose. So I'm not going to listen to the enemy. I'm going to go. I'm going to be in position, God. And I really believe that when we do that, we're letting the enemy know that he has no victory over here, that our gates are secure. Amen that we really are in that high place and we can see the enemy trying to get at us. But we're like, "Mm -mm. you have you have no room to get in here. God's already told me about you. So I'm aware of you. And so I just want to encourage you that you can ask God, God, show me which way my enemy is coming so I can stand on guard (laughs) so I can stand on guard and not fall into the trap. We can ask God for wisdom in that area. All right, you guys. Well, I've been talking long enough, but I pray that uh, today's message has been a blessing to you today. It surely was a blessing with me sharing this. I mean, it was really personal and um, it's something that happened today. So I love when God just speaks to us and, and gives us an answer. Amen. All right, you guys. Well, I bless you. I'll be back for tomorrow's breakfast. Have a great day. Bye. This is no one and never mean to punish us.